Ma ci ha fatto un brutto suono. I morti tornavano, ma trascinavano con loro sotto terra. Un amico ti tradisce, sembra un amico, Ciro. a lot from uh, from Jenny. It was a crazy evolution from Gomorrah season one to Gomorrah season five. I was sad to say goodbye to him, but this is this is the life, and I learned a lot, uh, especially to not judge. Uh, everything happens around me. First of all, Chiro got old. Um, eight years ago, I was young, uh, and he was young too. We are older. Uh, we can feel. Uh, uh, how, how strong was the was the journey, uh, uh, and, and with so much pains and suffering, uh, and it changed uh, his life and his soul. But uh, the most important thing is the age and the weight of the time on our shoulders. I think. The, the, the relationship between uh, Ciro and, and Jenny. I think it was the, the, the best things that can happen in, uh, in uh, all the season of, of Gomorrah. I've loved the entire journey, the work of the producers and the screenwriters. I love the, the both sides as actor and director, but most of all, uh, uh, the last experience uh, cheek to cheek with Salvatore uh, because uh, it makes me happy to stay close to him and to work, to work with him. I think the, the most important thing is that um, all, the, all the audience can, uh, can, uh, can, can watch in you know, all the season five will be uh, what Shiro and Jenny uh, didn't say this long travel that I did with, uh, with Jenny from Gomorrah season one to Gomorrah season five gives to me the chance to, to, to grow up like men, like actors, so um, th this end for me is just a big <laughs> well, Maybe the greatest challenge of my life, it wasn't easy, but thanks to my crew and the actors and the actress, it was easier. Uh, that's why I'll always be grateful to them, and I love them, and I thank them uh, all life long. Uh, Bulgaria, of course, uh, is in my heart because uh, um, the time we shoot it there was amazing. Uh, the, the Bulgarian crew was, uh, was amazing. And uh, I think that the Bulgarian chapter is one of the, the most incredible uh, tale of Gomorrah. So I remember everything and uh, they are all in my heart. My next guest lives in fear and is in hiding, unable to travel alone or trust anyone around him. It is the high price that Roberto Saviano has paid for daring to expose one of the most dangerous and powerful criminal gangs in the world the Camorra, otherwise known as the Naples Mafia. In 2006, he wrote a book about his time infiltrating the gang. The book is called Gomorrah. It became an international bestseller and was made into a film backed by Martin Scorsese. Roberto is a kind of uh, maestro for us because he sacrificed his life uh, for his country. Uh, he put down in words uh, all the pains, uh, we, we, we have always felt about our country, so I'll be always grateful to him and uh, work, to, work with him and, and stay to him is uh, every day something special. So I, I just feel love and I hope uh, him to be free to live his life as a, a citizen. Ciao ragazzi, sono Marco d'Amore, but now you have to call me Mark of Love. Italo Americano, a little bit, actor and director. I am here 
because I have a great meeting with Quentin Tarantino. He's in Rome to present his last movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, with Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, Marco Trobi. I have a lot of questions for him. So let's roll. Uh, almost Quentin Tarantino and Mark of Love, that's one, take one. <laughs> <laughs> change everything for me um, change me like actor like man um, to be on set with amazing actor and actress with amazing uh, troupe screenwriters and give me the chance to to stay in a, in a, in a TV show international TV show international movie um, so it was so amazing for me to be part of Gomorrah <laughs> Cancella tutto, eh? E siamo andati su Sky. Anche questa è Gomorra. This is Gomorra. 